Hello, Mathalino students! Welcome to Mathalino Classroom. Ngayong araw, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba ifa-factor out ang polynomial na may common monomial factor. We'll start with this simple activity. Given ang area ng rectangular piece na ipapakita mamaya, hanapin ang length at width nito sa loob ng box. Tandaan na para makuha ang area ng isang rectangle, multiply lang natin ang length at width nito. Okay? So, for the first one, correct, length is equal to 9 and width is equal to 2. Dahil, pag minultiply natin, 2 times 9 is 18. For the second one, you got it. Length is equal to 7 and width is equal to 5. Dahil, pag minultiply natin, 5 times 7 is 35. For the third one, that's right. Length is equal to 2x and width is equal to 3x minus 5. Dahil, Pag minultiply natin using the distributive property, 2x times 3x is 6x squared and 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x. So, 2x times 3x minus 5 is equal to 6x squared minus 10x. Note that 2x can be the rectangle's width and 3x minus 5 can be the length, depending on the assigned values for x. For the fourth one, great! Length is equal to x plus 2 and width is equal to x minus 6. Dahil, pag minultiply natin using the FOIL method, x times x is x squared, x times negative 6 is negative 6x, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. Combining negative 6x and positive 2x, we have negative 4x. So, x plus 2 times x minus 6 is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 12. In the previous activity, you are asked to find two numbers or algebraic expressions in order to get the given area. These two numbers or expressions are called the factors. Multiplying the factors we get a product. If we reverse the process, we call it factoring. Factoring is the process of finding the factors of a given expression. Developing one's skill in factoring is very important, especially in simplifying complex algebraic expressions and in solving math problems. Maraming techniques sa pag-factor ng polynomials at isa dun ay ang common monomial factoring. Dapat alam na natin ang concept ng GCF or the greatest common factor of two or more numbers or monomials. To do this technique, first is we determine the greatest numerical common factor and the greatest variable common factor of the polynomial. Second, we rewrite the polynomial as a product of the greatest common factor and the remaining factor. Para mas maintindihan, magbigay tayo ng example. Factor 3x minus 6. Notice that for the numerical coefficients of each term, the GCF of 3 and 6 is 3. However, there is no 
variable common factor, since the second term is a constant term, it has no variable. So, our common monomial factor is 3. Factoring out 3, we now find the other remaining factor by dividing each term of the given polynomial by the common monomial factor. So, 3x divided by 3 is x and 6 divided by 3 is 2. Hence, the factored form of 3x minus 6 is 3 times quantity x minus 2. You can check if your answer is correct by multiplying back the factors. We have 3 times x is 3x and 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Dahil equal ang ating nakuhang product sa given polynomial, we say that we got its correct factored form. Next example, factor 2a squared b plus 5a. Notice that for the numerical coefficients, the GCF of 2 and 5 is 1. For the variables, the GCF of a squared b and a is a. So, we multiply them to get our common monomial factor. That is 1 times a, which is equal to a. Factoring out a, we now find the other remaining factor by dividing each term of the given polynomial by the common monomial factor. So, 2a squared b divided by a is 2ab and 5a divided by a is 5. Hence, the factored form of 2a squared b plus 5a is a times the quantity 2ab plus 5. Again, you can check by multiplying back the factors. For the last example, factor 2n cubed minus 8n squared plus 14n. Notice that for the numerical coefficients, the GCF of 2, 8, and 14 is 2. For the variables, the GCF of n cubed, n squared, and n is n. So, multiplying them 2 times n, our common monomial factor is 2n. Factoring out 2n, we now find the other remaining factor by dividing each term of the given polynomial by the common monomial factor. So, 2n cubed divided by 2n is n squared. 8n squared divided by 2n is 4n. And 14n divided by 2n is 7. Hence, the factored form of 2n cubed minus 8n squared plus 14n is 2n times quantity n squared minus 4n plus 7. Let's have more practice on this. Express each polynomial into its factored form. Let us discuss the answers. For number 1, the common monomial factor is 3. So, we factor out 3 and find the remaining factor by dividing each term of the given polynomial by the common monomial factor. So, 3y squared divided by 3 is y squared. 12y divided by 3 is 4y. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. Hence, 
the factored form of 3y squared plus 12y plus 6 is 3 times quantity y squared plus 4y plus 2. For number 2, the common monomial factor is r squared. So, we factor out r squared and find the remaining factor by dividing each term of the given polynomial by the common monomial factor. So, 2r cubed divided by r squared is 2r and 5r squared s divided by r squared is 5s. Hence, the factored form of 2r cubed minus 5r squared s is r squared times quantity 2r minus 5s. For number 3, the common monomial factor is 2m cubed. However, if the first term is negative, we generally factor out negative 1 together with our common monomial factor. So, we factor out negative 2m cubed and find the remaining factor by dividing each term of the given polynomial by the common monomial factor. So, we have negative 4m raised to the power of 5 divided by negative 2m cubed is positive 2m squared and negative 10m cubed divided by negative 2m cubed we have positive 5. It is important to note that the sign of the terms of the remaining factor becomes opposite their original signs since we factored out negative 1. Hence, the factored form of negative 4m raised to the power of 5 minus 10m cubed is negative 2m cubed times the quantity 2m squared plus 5. Do you have any questions about our lesson? If none, test yourself by answering the following. You may pause the video for a while to answer and comment down your answers when you're done. That's all for today class. Goodbye!